The holidays have arrived, and if you were looking for some last-minute dinner ideas, you're in luck. Melissa Yeager is a high V registered dietitian here with some better-for-you options for your next holiday event. I am looking at, I'm scanning this table right now. I see no cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no can of cream of mushroom soup. Hey, there so, is. There's a gluten-free can over here. Right. We're snagging uh, it in. So better for you doesn't necessarily mean doesn't taste good. No, not at all. And I think one of the biggest components that we want to focus on in a balanced diet is getting enough fruits and vegetables in there. And sometimes it takes implementing them in a few fun, creative ways. Um, I know that sometimes people don't always reach for the carrots or the sweet potatoes as their side dish option, but maybe we can sprinkle them in from your appetizers to side dishes to even a mocktail to get you in the holiday spirit while still sneaking in some extra vitamins and minerals and fiber in there for you. Makes, that I would makes expect a, a dietitian to... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to start out with some color as an appetizer because I don't know about you, but when I have guests coming over or you first get somewhere, it's kind of nice to have something to munch on while you're waiting for the mm, main for meal, sure. kind of starting up some conversation. So this is one that you can make on the day of as right before guests are arriving incredibly convenient um, and it does start with a nice base of just you can use a baguette or you can buy pre-made crostinis depends mm -hmm. on how much time you have if you're going to toast the crostinis in the oven yourself you're going to slice up the baguette brush on a little bit of cooking oil and heat until they're golden brown but then you just are simply going to top with some fun festive red and green toppings we're bringing in some holiday colors to mm -hmm. the table so but pretty. we have some avocado for healthy fats pomegranate arils for great antioxidants Feta cheese for that creamy, salty factor, topping it with some fresh chives and a little drizzle of honey. So if you guys wanted to try oh, that. Oh, put that honey good. on this, huh? Yes, a little balance. Well, and even the pomegranate split open like that is such a fun way to decorate it. They're just so beautiful. Except that pomegranate costs a small fortune. That's the, that's the <laughs> problem with pomegranates, right? And the beauty of it is, while they're in season right now, they're going to be at a better price point mm -hmm. than what you're going to be finding in the off season. And they're actually much easier to cut at home than you might think. Yeah, let's and talk so about this. I know that they're a little bit intimidating, right? So when I'm purchasing a pomegranate, I am picking up a couple at a time and comparing the weight. You want one that's heavier for its weight, even if it doesn't look as beautiful. Mm -hmm. Because really? there's more juice, more arils, that density is in there. So okay. I'm always kind of picking and choosing and comparing. And again, they can have some scratches or be a little bit wrinkly. There's nothing of concern there. And then when you get home, you're going to want a really sharp knife, okay? And you're going to want a type of bowl of water, something in front of you to catch all of that juice. So what I do is I cut and you can see I've cut down the center here so that I can easily split it once I turn it upside down in water and that's going to keep all that juice from getting all over my counter and all over myself. Yeah. So then you can just simply break it apart under water and then the beauty of it is you can pick out all of the arils in the water and the arils will sink to the bottom and the membrane will float to the top and then you can just scoop out the little white membrane and have a bunch of delicious arils ready to go with have, no mess on your hands or on your counter. I have never done it that way in my life. And my, your fingers are always messy and you've got stains on your clothes. Here, exactly. take some of the snapkin. That's, one of, that's one of the methods we've used in our house over the years. And is it there in have a bowl been, of water? There have been many. There have All been right. many methods. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. This one is my personal favorite Genius. because if not, you are left with this bright red juice and it yeah. does discolor or stain things. So please yeah. don't wear white and open a pomegranate Smart. at home. That's my PSA that was very, for that. Uh, very good, by the way. The very honey good. was a yeah. surprising Quite little good. twist to what I liked. Tell me about the side dish that you make. This is kind of your version of stuffing. Yes, and the argument of stuffing over dressing, you may call it whatever you like, but I'm always trying to find ways to add additional vegetables and flavor without going overboard on the sodium because mm -hmm. we have a lot of salt in our cooking and what we know is we're trying to find ways to maintain our heart health and think about that over the holidays so I do like to start with using an unsalted or less sodium broth so for instance like a vegetable stock or a vegetable broth mm -hmm. as your cooking liquid you can also use whole grain breads or a combination of whole grain Smart, and white yeah. for your stuffing blend. Oftentimes sold pre-baked in the stores or you can take bread that's cut and add that to your pantry, let it dry out for a few days and make your own stuffing crumbles at home. But then I like to use mushrooms. Are you guys pro mushrooms or not a fan of the texture? I like mushrooms. I've never thought of it in stuffing. 
I love using a variety. I think they give great chew and texture mm -hmm. and some great kind of umami balance to the dish. I find that oftentimes, you know, stuffings can be filled with extra sausage or, or extra elements like that, but you can really replace a lot of that texture and flavor by focusing on a more veggie forward stuffing and then yeah. using something like leeks, which I know are not maybe as commonly used all year round, but they are a really beautiful balanced way to add some of that kind of onion earthy flavor oh, into sure. balance it out. So really beautiful, colorful, and great texture to build out a stuffing. I love that idea. We throw pistachios in our stuffing <gasps> and that gives I a little crunch that too. Crunch. And I know that yeah. that's a healthy Yes, thing great in there, healthy so. fats in those pistachios. There you go. So when it comes to cocktails or mocktails over the holidays, we know that many individuals are actually turning to mocktails or having more of those options available for friends and family. And so what I love is finding different unique flavor combinations to make a mocktail a little bit more exciting. And so today I brought in a little bit spicier option. Now again, I get that we're in Minnesota, so not everybody loves spice. Is it Minnesota spicy? <laughs> it's maybe, it's Minnesota spicy. It does linger a little bit on oh. the back of your palate. Because what you do is you're going to start with using fresh ginger, mm -hmm. which already has right. a nice little bite, and then yep. fresh cut jalapenos. And you're going to muddle mm. those together. And you can totally reduce the spice factor by taking the seeds out of the jalapeno if you wanted to before you muddled. I left them in, just a heads up. Okay. Um, and then I wanted to really pack in some vitamin C and different forms of citrus fruit because we know we want to support that immune system going into the holiday season and at holiday gatherings. So equal parts are about a half cup of each of 100% grapefruit juice and 100% orange juice. You can certainly get fancy and fresh squeeze it yourself, but I would rather spend more time with my guests and less time in the kitchen. Yeah, of so course. I'm going to Makes buy sense juice that is ready to go. Thank and you. then for some bubbles, I did top it with some sparkling grapefruit water. So oh, nice. no, again, nice. no additional sugar nice. added, just natural sugar from the fruits, and then garnished with some key lime and a little bit of lime juice or key lime juice. Oh. There's a kick. Yeah. But it's good. It's That's good. good. It's like yeah. a warm really kick. It's not That's great. It's not too excessive. It's really nice and, and well it's balanced. Festive with the rimmed glass and yes. the lemon and the key limes, which you told us are amazing. To yes, try. I like key limes a lot. They're much more aromatic. They're less acidic. So again, if anybody has issues with the acidity factor of oranges, limes, et cetera. This is a little bit more balanced. They tend to be a little bit sweeter as well, too. I mean, think about how they're used in key lime pie yeah, or other sense. desserts. But That's they come in Nice little bags that are easy and convenient to pick up, fun for garnish and Perfect. for cooking. Melissa, thank you. Thanks, Melissa. We'll have thank to leave you. it right there. Uh, you can find today's recipe ideas on minnesotalive.com.